Hi, I'm Gagan Lutra, Product Marketing Manager at Cypress Semiconductor, and today I'm really excited to introduce you to the latest Bluetooth Low Energy Solutions from Cypress, the BLE Pioneer Kit, CY8C Kit 042 BLE. In this video, we'll cover the various aspects of the development platform, including the hardware kits, the software tools, and some of the example projects. So this $49 BLE Pioneer Kit includes the following. You first have the BLE Pioneer baseboard. It's got the Arduino shield form factor, so you can plug in all of those Arduino shields that are available in the community. It's got a USB port that allows you to program and debug uh, the device over the PSOC 5LP chip, which is used as a programmer and debugger. It also has a caps and slider, an RGB LED, a couple switch buttons for user input, and on the rear side of the kit, you have this 3.3-volt uh, uh, coin cell battery holder, so this entire development solution can be used wirelessly. In addition to the baseboard, you have these two modules that plug into the baseboard, one for PSOC for BLE, and another for PROC BLE, allowing you to evaluate both the solutions using this one common kit. These modules are fully self-contained systems. The PSOC 4 BLE chip sits on this. You have all the IOs exposed. You also have a PCB antenna on the top of this kit and the right pins exposed for power and programming. Additionally, this module is also fully FCC certified, so it can be used in a production environment if you choose to do so. The module simply plugs into the kit in this header. You are now ready to evaluate and develop with PSOC 4 BLE. Also included in this kit is a BLE USB dongle. The intent of this dongle is to convert your Windows-based laptop into a Bluetooth low energy host. And Cypress has also provided a utility called CY Smart for Windows, which allows you to use this dongle to test and debug your Bluetooth low energy solutions that you develop with the kit. Also included in the kit is a 3.3 volt coin cell battery, a USB cable, and some jumper wires. And lastly, you have this quick start guide that has more information on the various pieces of the kit and also shows you how to get started. Now let's take a look at the kit in action. To get started, I'll use the coin cell battery and plug it into the rear of the kit. And I'll demonstrate this with the CY Smart mobile application for iOS devices on my iPod here. To put the kit into Bluetooth advertising mode, you simply press this button here, which turns the red LED on into a blinking state. I then open the CY Smart mobile app and start scanning for devices around me. I can touch on this to connect to the device and then see a carousel of the profiles or characteristics running inside this device. I'll start the demonstration with the CapSense button. And if I move my finger along the CapSense slider, you'll notice that information being relayed to the phone over the Bluetooth Low Energy Link. Also running in this demonstration is a more digital design with LED color mixing. Clicking on this shows me a color gamut with an intensity slider, which I can turn up all the way and then pick a color that I want to display on the RGB LED. I can change the color to red or anything else that I would like. Lastly, you can also look at the raw data in the GAT DB and it shows both the CapSense and the RGB LED slider. Cypress also provides the CY Smart mobile application for Android devices. Now let's take a look at CY Smart for Windows. And to do that, I'll plug in the USB dongle into my computer. I will then open the CY Smart Windows utility and put the kit into its advertising mode again. I press the Start Scan button to look for advertising Bluetooth devices around me. And you notice the CapSense LED and slider shows up here. I can click on it and connect to it. I can also click the Discover All Attribute button to see all the services that this device is exposing. And as you can see here, you're presented with a list of all the services and characteristics running on this project. You can hit the Enable All Notifications button, and I'm moving my caps and slider on the kit, and you can see the raw information being relayed in the CY Smart application. You can also use CY Smart to write back to the Bluetooth Low Energy device. To learn more about CY Smart for Windows, please refer to the included user guide which covers all the details on how to use this utility. Now let's take a look at how this project was implemented in PSOC Creator. PSOC Creator version 3.1 includes support for the new Bluetooth low energy devices from Cypress. Also included are several example projects that let you get started with this development kit. Under the example and kits menu, 
I can scroll down and look at the example projects that I included with the BLE Pioneer Kit. The particular example project that I just showed you is the PSOC 4 BLE Capsense Slider and LED demo. So let's open that up and take a look at how it was implemented. Walking through the schematic of this project, we first have a Capsense component here that's configured to operate the Capsense Slider. We also have a pin component here which allows the user to press the button to wake up the system from sleep and also put it into an advertising mode. You've got a couple prism components here that allow us to do the color mixing and driving of the LEDs. And most importantly, the Bluetooth smart component that's configured with a custom profile to showcase the Capsin slider demo and the RGB LED. Also included with PSAR Creator are several example projects specifically for the new BLE component. I can sort by the keyword BLE to look at this list of Bluetooth low energy component examples. You've got examples here for a pedometer or running speed cadence, Bluetooth low energy HID keyboard and mice, a Bluetooth low energy heart rate sensor, glucose meter, blood pressure, battery level, so on and so forth. Let's open the heart rate sensor project for a quick demo. Each of these projects also includes a detailed data sheet which talks through the specifics of how it was implemented. The Bluetooth low energy component in this project is configured with a heart rate profile. The profile role is a heart rate sensor and the specifics of the profile can be found in the profiles tab. What's nice about the BLE component is that it provides you a graphical user interface to configure your entire Bluetooth low energy protocol stack and then the tool will then generate all the right APIs and the firmware required to implement this solution, making it very easy for developers to design Bluetooth low energy systems without writing very much code. You can also use several of the other analog and digital components on the PSOC device to implement your sensor interfaces or your control and communications. Components included with PSOC 4 BLE are op amps, comparators, analog muxes, capsense, all sorts of digital communication protocols like I2C, SPI, and UART, and also a few other components for LCD display and digital functions. So that was a quick introduction to the new BLE Pioneer kit from Cypress Semiconductor. To get started and learn more about Cypress's Bluetooth low energy solutions, please visit cypress.com slash BLE.